How's it going? Today we're going to make a clothespin shooter out of a clothespin, obviously, and a match and a rubber band. So these are the things that you need to basically make a shooter gun. So first things first, take the paper clip and twist it to the side to disconnect the clothespin. So this becomes now three pieces. Move to those to the side. So your first piece is you're gonna to want to take the paper paper clip clothespin like this and make a notch out of it. And I use one of these hand saws because it's got a real fine uh, teeth that you can get right in there. And so ideally you're gonna to want to come down just like that and then hit an angle. And this is for the spring system to kind of grab in there so it won't come out just about like that. <clears throat> Second piece is you're going to want to make a cut all the way through about yay. So you're going to take that, cut that all the way down. There we go. So basically you have these two pieces. One's completely cut, the other one's just notched. So what you want to do is you want to flip these two pieces just like that so that that gap matches up. <clears throat> so what you want to do there, line those up, take a smaller rubber band and you're basically just wrapping it <clears throat> around that center piece there. Just like that. So this essentially becomes the trigger. Then you're going to take your spring, <clears throat> just like yay, and these two pieces actually spread apart. So what you want to do is you want to take your clothespin, take one of these up on top, put the other one on the bottom, just like that. So one piece is on the top, one's on the bottom, and slide that all the way down. So it slides into that notch. You can kind of see where that's at. So this becomes a trigger. <clears throat> How to load it is basically you want to push this forward. Here I'll show it from this side. Push this forward so it notches and you can hear that click. This basically pulls the trigger in place and then you want to slide it all the way back to this piece right here. And then line it back up. For smaller kids that can't pull that hard, don't tighten your rubber band that tight. It'll enable it to be easier to move back and forth and not as much power actually shooting the, the uh, matchstick. Take the matchstick, you want to lift up on this top piece and slide that back far enough so it's still in front in front of this metal piece. You don't want this matchstick behind because this essentially pops up and acts as the trigger point. So you want it just right in front of that. Once everything's lined up, this becomes the trigger. You can hold it this way and then pull back. Then it'll shoot all the way across the room. And there is a clothespin shooter. Have fun.